again. So happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And I always try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. And I hope you keep watching because I'll keep making uh, videos. What I got today is my usual pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. What I do is I spray paint it with your local hardware spray paint. Get different tones and colors on there. And then what I do is I make sure you're in a well ventilated area with a mask on. Then what I do is I loaded it up with a thin coat of liquid clear and that's going to help the oils go on a lot smoother. And if you didn't get the liquid clear you'll see where the oils are they'll start dragging. So this is where we're at and any colors and any information you'll need to paint along with me if that's what you choose to do will come across the screen somewhere in here. So what I did was so far I kind of got a head start here. I loaded it up with some fan brush. I put white in for the background of the, the horizon and I loaded the, did a blender brush here and I just blended it all in real soft to get all that cloudiness and everything. And that's where I'm at so far. So, so, I said it was going to be a springtime, maybe a double waterfall, maybe with some flowers. So with the springtime, I'm not sure if I want to leave that sky like that or put some yellow or orange in there for a spring sunset. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll just put some more in here so you can see exactly what I did. Take a blender brush. Circular motions. And barely touching it. Barely. Pulling it up. All the way across. All the way across the horizon. Get all kinds of little cloudy things happening. Just like that. You get clouds automatically. We didn't even have to put any clouds in. Now I, now, I think we'll take some blue colors. Like a Prussian blue. And some white. Get a mountain going, maybe. I like those blue colors for a mountain. Right across the palette knife. And we'll start out where we want our mountain to be. ridges and things happening. Get some more paint. in a distance like that. You're going to have those colors. And
something like that. We'll use this brush here we use for the liquid clear. This one here, we'll pull down. Get the different angles. Different angles. I'm wiping the excess off of that. Going side to side. different shadows and breaks. Different things you're looking for back and through there. Got all that happening. Cleaning that brush off. I use odorless paint thinner. Soften that edge. Soften that up. Clean that off again. And we'll come into some white for the snow cap mountains. Cut off a little roll of paint right across the top of there. Since the light's behind it, maybe we can do it from over here. All I'm doing is tapping this. Letting that break right off of there. Grab some more weight. Wait. Okay. 
part where you think there'd be more snow. along that edge. Now we'll come into some blue. We'll highlight it. Highlight the blue areas. in this area here. Gives it that shadowy look, the dark. Maybe down here this would be more white. again. Come down here and tap this. Get that misty look. At the base of the mountain. When I pay close attention to the lay of the mountain, the angles, some distant evergreen trees in. Distant evergreen trees. Using the blues and some liquid clear. Because off in the distance the evergreen trees are going to have a blue hue to it. They look right up just like that. here and we'll start tapping. Make that a little darker. A little darker. That's more like it. Tapping it down. Get the look of distant evergreen trees.
adapting down. Filling that in. different heights and levels that blue hue to the almost like a hazy tapping it. We'll blend that in at the bottom. Then we'll put our waterfall in. trees, tops, the illusions. Then muffle this. Missed it. One layer going. Now well, maybe we can put our waterfall coming down. Put our waterfall coming down. Grab this brush here with some white. liquid white, titanium white, load it right up. Maybe our waterfall is right here. Comes straight down. big waterfall. Comes all the way down. Okay, now we got that going. 
Let's grab some black and some green. Mix up some colors. twigs and stuff happening up there. Gotta get on that side now and make some rocks right about where the waterfall might be. stones and stuff right by the falls. We'll come in at an angle here. Where you got some rocks and stuff. angle. right underneath it. Got some rocky stuff happening right there. Come in with some brown. A little bit of brown and some white. Shading. Maybe some highlights. rock formations back there. Now we'll come in to that same blue. We'll highlight some area down here. Right where that mist would be for the waterfall. And we'll get this brush here. We'll tap in. We'll tap in some mist with some white. I'll tell you, 
tell you what, let's put some green in there first. Because the greenery will be on there first before the... Loading up some black and some green and some liquid clear. Dark color. Maybe some Van Dyke brown. Load it right up. Just like that. Maybe here. Got some stuff happening. Coming right down. Right down to the waterfall. other side. close attention to the lay, the lay of the hill and how you want your stuff to grow on there. Just like that. All the way down to the edge. It's lighter as it goes out because of the shadows. It's darker towards the when you're closer towards the waterfall. And it gets lighter out. I'm going to take some paint off of there. Get it lighter. Almost gives it that 3D. All the way up. Same thing on this side. Lighter. lighter grassy areas. It almost pulls it in. Because you got that lightness and then a the darkness. like there's all kinds of things happening in there. I kind of like that. I like that. Come into some brown. Little roll of paint. And the palette knife. Come down here and cut in a little bit of the beachy. darker colors going. 
brown and black. some white, highlight it, put that water's edge. And we'll come into some come in make some foam foam at the base of the mount or at the waterfall just like that maybe right down here clean that brush off picked up some Brighter white.
then go across. A little bit of blue is in there. it in, lighten it in, some more blues, darker blues here. Step back. Maybe we can put some trees in there now. Evergreen trees and closer. Brought up some liquid clear, some dark colors. Blacks and browns. Sharp little edge here. This 
evergreen trees. Tapping down, getting different heights, and just filling it in by tapping all the way down. Leave gaps in between where you can see the blue. That gives it another dimension, another level there. base of the trees. in it because it gives it more of a grassy look. Got different things happening, different layers and different, different, different. Come into some liquid clear and some yellow. to be yellow and white.
some yellow things happening up there. Okay. Now, let's come around with some black and brown. around. right by the waterfall, all the way down. Now the other side. edge.
Okay, got that going on. We'll get some white going. I like this. Grassy area, dark grassy area in here. Just like the other one. Tapping this around by the beach, by the beach area. Just 
tapping it in. like we did the other one. some blue color. Darker blues down here. Some browns. Right in here. whites on top of that.
brush, pull down, pull across. Looks pretty good. Get some mist going down here. Right at the base of the waterfall. Kind of misty. Kind of misty. Do that one up there too a little bit more. Picked up some brown off of there. We don't want that. We just want the white. We just want the misty. Misty, cloudy, white. Down here we can make it more more misty. Gonna put a water line in there. There too. Just like that. Got a double double waterfall going. some trees in. Evergreens. Put right up on the fan brush. Just like that. It sets off in the distance. down here and going up the hill. doing is tapping it, barely. Barely tapping. Put 
the ankles. Put the ankles at the base of the trees. Because if you look at them on the mountains, they're not like flat across, they go on the angle of the mountain or whatever land they're on. They go up. Okay, got that going on. Take a little bit of green here. Tap this up. Since we're putting evergreen trees in along here. Same thing on this side. Up the hill. Who knows, so we're going to fill that in like that. Come back in to the fan brush. Maybe we got one right here going up the hill. different spots. Randomly. Random. Try to do odd numbers. Just because. I think we got that going on. I start putting some big ones here, I think. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe we 
we can just do. small ones all the way all the way up the hill fill it in, but when you start tapping, you get little grassy areas there. some yellows going. Get some. some more trees in.
Okay. Well, we can put some bigger ones here, I think. Let's see what happens. maybe. Undecided, undecided. Blend this in.
lighter, lighter things happening in there. down to the water's edge. Just like that, come over here, get some darker colors coming in here. Hey, this is coming right off this canvas right here. good time to add some yellow. See if we can get some flowery things happening with that.
just tapping that in. do the same thing with uh, orange. But I tell you what, I like blues. I like the blue color. Get some red going. Tapping some red in here. using the spam brush. Just a corner of it.
dust and flowers. white almost to the yellow one. A little bit of white. A little bit of white in the brown some more of the mist
one last thing. We can put an eagle in. Put an eagle. Maybe right here, off to the side. painting. Let's see. We're going to need some lighter colors. Some lighter color to sign it. So we we'll use white and yellow. I like signing mine with my last name. Some people like to put their initials. It's whatever you prefer. I also like putting the year in. So that lets you know what you were thinking at the time of your progression. Well, I hope you like this little bit of a double waterfall here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you painted along with me. And I hope you come back.